Like what? What? What else is like a like other than Star Wars? Like what are like your favorite movies? Uh, I have a Lord of the Rings room too. So like I have, I'll I'll send you a picture. Uh, <laughs> like I got the, the poster, a big movie poster, and then I have like uh, Gandalf staff, uh, Aragorn's sword, Frodo's sword, Legolas's dagger. I was crazy about those movies when I was growing up, but like uh, I, I I go and watch them now. And like they just don't have the same feeling to me, but they're those, great movies. That, those are probably, great movies. Those are great movies. The <laughs> Hobbit. I I actually watched a Tolkien take of that. Have you seen that? Where the where like a fan edits them to match the book. That's, that's interesting. Really, that's really good. It's like the Tolkien edit. You should research that. Okay. Um, and it makes the movie like four hours or something like that instead of three, two and a half hour movies. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. So it was, it, it's really good. It's really good. So that, that makes me enjoy that a little bit more. Um, I don't know. My my top movies, I would probably put Star Wars number one. That is a hard question. I'd like to know your top three movies. Top three? And, and, and you can and you can include a series in as a as a movie. Okay. Uh my so my favorite overall movie right now is the new Blade Runner. Wow. I think that movie's a masterpiece. Like, I, I think that's gonna have a like a huge cult following, like ten, fifteen years from now. Just wow. like, just like the Ridley Scott one did. I saw it in theaters. It's a long, definitely like drawn out, slower movie. But I just, to me, it's like an epic. You know, like it's. It's cool scenery too. Oh, it's beautiful, man. I love um, Tron, not the old one, but the new one, Legacy. I know it didn't get a really good rap, but. With a Daft Punk soundtrack. Yeah, that movie was very innovative for its time. So good, man. I mean, if you go back and watch it now, it's probably not as as good looking as as it could be. But I'm hearing there's going to be another one being made. I heard that. A new Tron coming out because they're making like a Tron world. They, talk they talked about doing a sequel to the last one for the longest time. and then I think it's a reboot. But it's not gonna be the same now. Daft Daft Punk broke up, bro. They're done. Dude, I know. <laughs> they they really did make that movie. Like, oh yeah, that that's insane. The how soundtrack, sound yeah. Can do it, but they. I have the uh, vinyl of that uh, movie. It's like Top Gun, dude. Like that. What what band is it that did like all the music for that movie? Which, by the way, the new Top Gun looks like it could be pretty damn oh, that good. Got, yeah, that does look pretty good. I like Miles Teller. I think he's I'm a good excited. actor. You seen Whiplash? For... No. Bro. That, it, while, while your wife's sleeping, go watch Whiplash, dude. That'll blow your I, mind. I, it's 12 o'clock now. I got like a good hour to go watch whatever I want to watch. I think it's an hour and a half. Okay. Maybe we wave that for tomorrow. <laughs> but <laughs> that, 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 that movie, you'll be like, what, dude? Like, it's just, it's so different. It's the same guy who made, uh, La La Land. Okay, I know what you're talking. Yeah, I've seen. I haven't seen it, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, Whiplash was like his breakout movie, and it, Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons. Those are the that, two main that, guys. J.K. is the guy who plays uh, Peter Parker, right? He's in Spider Man. Is that him? Not Peter Parker. He's the he's the guy who uh, the, uh, the news the guy. guy. Yeah. Okay. The guy who does all the commercials too. Yeah. The insurance commercials. Yeah, he's a good actor too. Super he's underrated. Yeah, um, yeah. So you got I, Blade Runner. I really liked Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Just as somebody who cares about movies and how movies are made, like to me that it's like that movie was made for people like me. Are you going recent movies first, or are you just this is your top movie? This is my top movies. Okay. Okay. Um, and then. Third, if you said I could, can, can include a series, I would say the first season of True Detective. Okay. That's like a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, I, I think that's... Like the third season was good, in my opinion. <sighs> Too slow, not enough action. Okay. I liked it, though. Because I didn't see... I saw... I watched the first one because the third one was coming out. Yeah, it was... It was the third one was better than the second season, but it's still... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There was just they focused too much on like jumping through time periods more than they did like I don't know, making what happened. You know. 
there was like one shootout scene, you know what I mean? Whereas with the first season, it was just, there was so much going on. You're like, holy crap, dude. Yeah. They're like they're like in the crime underbelly of Louisiana, <laughs> you know. That was that was a good season. That was a good season. I love that. Like when you see a movie or a TV show, and you're like, "Man, that was a great." Yeah. Like I can't remember the last, I can't remember the last movie that I've thought like that. I mean, once upon a time in Hollywood. Um, there's just I don't know. To me, it's it's you know Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio in the same movie together. Yeah. It's just ridiculous to begin with. And that was recent, right? That was like oh, last yeah. year. I mean, Blade Runner was recent too. Yeah. But, wow. uh, no, like just them sitting there, like watching Leonardo DiCaprio's show on TV, like FBI or whatever it is, you know? And them yeah. like pointing at the TV and like laughing and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, like, it's so weird. You know, you're watching them pretending to be actors and they're some of the greatest actors ever. Yeah. You know? And like, it's just, it's, it's, makes you wonder how actors watch stuff that they're in in real life you know like how do they look at it dissect it because like there's like one guy that hops off a car and he's like yeah that guy's an asshole or something you know like while they're watching this show yeah i gotta watch that i didn't i i just missed it i just missed oh, it. oh bro if I you just... like if you love movies you're gonna love that movie yeah yeah i mean it was peak hollywood you know where it takes place like 69 or whatever yeah i need to watch that and there's supposed to be an extended is version there, is there's, that on anything do you know not that i know but there's supposed to be an extended version coming to netflix soon okay. maybe like they'll Wait, probably no. they'll probably announce it any time like at any time they're doing because it's a it's a like two and a half hour movie but it could remember, easily be four hours yeah i remember i mean my buddy saw it and he told me it was a long movie yeah, they they cut out like whole characters for the theatrical version. Cause, and not only that, um, Quentin Tarantino's like he got so invested in this story, he's coming out with a book, like the book version of it. And he's, he's like, got- I mean, he he explained his writing process, and he basically writes like whole life stories for each character, so that he knows how they would act and why they would yeah. make certain decisions. It's crazy. It's a whole nother level of making movies. Yeah. 